This is a Lumerian from Brazil. This is called an empath empathic warrior. See how big that is? It's very, very rare. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about um, mainly the Lumerians. But you can apply the information to all crystals. But the Lumerians, this information is specifically for the Lumerians when you're working with them. Okay? That's the one from Brazil. This is the Russian Lumerian right here. These are the rarest Lumerians. Okay, now, when you're working with the Lumerian crystals, or with crystals in general, but mainly with the Lumerians, you are to sit with them and hold them and just relax and allow yourself to feel the energy of them. And then let your mind think about all the different things pertaining to what makes you who you are. Your issues, um, your trials, your tribulations, your weak points, your strong points, your dreams, your goals, your aspirations, um, your hang-ups, your emotional hang-ups, um, your laziness, your procrastination. I mean, everything that makes you who you are. If you're serious about healing, those were some of the um, um, insights I was receiving as I holding Russian Lumerian here. With a little like an eye right there. Wow, that's deep. And look, you see that eye? Nose. That's deep. I just noticed that. That's really powerful. Y'all see that eye right there? Okay, now. Um, this is the empath empathic. Lumerian, Lumerian empathic warrior. This is a big one right here. We have bigger ones, small ones. We got pendants and stuff like that. So, as you are meditating with the Lumerians, just simply hold them and allow yourself to feel the energy. This could be a citrine, a Russian sacred scribe. Citrine. I'm still trying to figure this out, but I do know it's a Russian sacred scribe. Now, and this soon it'll be like four something in the morning, you know, and um, I'm I'm receiving that this is how you want to work with the Lumerians pertaining to working with them. Um, the crystals bring you back to yourself. A lot of times we have lost ourselves. We have become distracted, harmed, um, angered. Um, caught up in materialism, um, you know, dealing with life as far as people dying, relationships breaking up and various different things. And so when you embark on dealing with crystals, mainly with crystals, and you can also do it with herbs as well and other, you know, artistic things, healing activities, but we're talking about the Lumerians, the, go the crystals bring you back to you. The crystals bring you back to you. They bring you back to you. Why? Because of whatever you have been through, whatever you've faced or whatever you're trying to manifest, elevate, come to know, um, come, come to grips with, come to understand, so on and so forth. The stones bring you back to you. I got a saying, stones for the bones. And what I mean by that is, it's healing. What I first started doing in the beginning with crystals in general, I would imagine the energy in my brain, in my blood, in my organs, in my skin, in my bones, around me, and inside of me. So bringing it back to the Lemurians, you are coming to, you're coming up, you're going deeper and deeper and deeper as you meditate more and more with the Lemurians and with other crystals, but more so with the Lemurians because the Lemurians communicate to each other and they also send signals and communications to all the crystals in the world. So that's a lot of power. That's a lot of power. Also, the Lemurians were used by our ancestors for healing, for elevation, communication, and a variety of different things that will come to you as you meditate with the crystals, with the Lumerians. 
So this is the inspiration. I just wanted to put that out there. So cosmic.